Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use animation presets from AIM Trailers Explainer Video Toolkit version 2 for Adobe After Effects. So first of all, let's understand how to apply our presets pack. So you need the presets folder. To find it, you simply go to the program files folder. So in my case, this is on disk C. Then you go to Adobe then After Effects, and then in the Support Files, and then finally you locate the Presets folder. So just drop it into this folder. For macOS users, you must use the path specified on this callout. Okay, now let's get back to After Effects. Now look at the Effect and Presets panel. So you press here and select the Refresh list. Well, now you can open the animation presets folder and then you find what we've just added. So, okay, let's check how this animation presets works. So you can use presets on your own icons, logo types, text, or any other objects. I already have one small icon for our test. But first, let's study our useful materials and choose the presets that we want to use. So let's get back into the AIM Trailers package and find the folder. So we've got this animation presets in the Elements Guide folder. So you open it. Wow, that looks very cool and really useful. So we see all the presets in action. And now it remains only to choose those that are the most suitable for our task. Okay, now let's go back to After Effects. So just replay the time indicator to a time where you want the animation to start. And then you drop one of them on our icon. So let's start from the entrance category. Yeah, that looks good. Now, maybe one of the emphasis folder. This is what you need. And finally, let's complete our randomly generated animation and select one of exit folder. Now let's look at the final result. Oh, that looks cool. All the presets work in exactly the same principle. But I want to make some notes. So by default, our presets are made to the full HD size of the composition. And the size of the icon is 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels in height. You can always make a test layer and apply a preset to see where that should fit right. And then you make changes to the size of your object as necessary. So let's look at a few typical situations that you may encounter. So for example, if you want to use the preset with position settings on the center, you simply replay the time indicator on any position keyframe. Select those, and now you can easily replay animations anywhere. For example, in this situation, move our object to the right place, Yeah, this is what we need. The second moment relates to scale properties. So for example, your icon scale is different from 100%. And when you apply preset, you see the changes. So not to worry, just open all the keyframes and select the last of the scale keyframes and make a change on another. All the rest of the animation will work just as well. So it's exactly the same principle if you want to use exit presets. The third moment relates to the anchor point property. So as a rule, in all presets, the anchor point is located in the center, but there are also presets where this could be different. So therefore, we recommend that you apply the preset in parallel to the test layer and make changes based on the original data. Now let's get acquainted with a simple example.
yeah, this works just fine. And now the last moment about 3D presets. So these work in exactly the same way. But before using, you must apply 3D layers on your icon. And then everything works perfectly. And now you know how to use the presets and make any animation for any object. And that's it, folks. So this video guide for this section is over. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on new products and offers.